Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to increase or boost FPS and fix lag in Borderlands 3 along with some optimizations for Windows 10 overall performance. So make sure to watch this video till the end and follow all of the steps. Before we start this tutorial we're gonna create a restore point just in case if anything goes wrong with your PC after this tutorial you can always revert the changes. So what you want to do is click on the search bar and type create a restore point and open it up. Now click on the drive where Borderlands 3 is installed at so mine is at, uh, on my D drive. Yours should be on local disk C. Once you click on it, click on configure and click on turn on system protection. Once you're done, set the max usage to around 5%. Click on apply. Click on OK and now click on create. Name the new restore point. I'm gonna name it restore point and click on create. Wait for it to finish and once it's done it should say that the restore point was created successfully. Now click on close and click on OK. And now let's start with the tutorial. The first step is to open up this PC so just click on the search bar type this PC and open it up. And now open the drive where you have Borderlands 3 installed at, so mine is at local disk D. Yours should be at local disk C, program files or program files x86. Once you find it, open up the Borderlands 3 folder. And now right click on borderlands3.exe and open up the properties. Now click on the compatibility tab and check the disable full screen optimizations box. And once you check it, click on change high DPI settings and check the override high DPI scaling behavior scaling performed by application. Once you're done, just click on OK, click on apply and click on OK again. Now open the old game folder, open the binaries folder, open the Win64 folder. Now right click on borderlands3.exe again. Click on properties, click on the compatibility tab and check the disable full screen optimizations box and once you check it click on change high DPI settings and check the override high DPI scaling behavior scaling performed by application. Once you're done click on ok, click on apply and click on ok again. Now what you want to do is go back to the oak game folder and open the content folder. Now open the movies folder and once you're in here just right click on it, click on new and create a new folder. You can name it whatever you want and now move the 2k logo inside of it, move the AMD logo inside of it, GBX and loading.mp4. What this does is it basically just stops the movies playing at the start of the game. If you want to watch them again, what you want to do is just open up the new folder, copy all of the movies in here and just paste them in the movies folder again and just delete the new folder. Once you're done here, go back to the content folder and open the splash folder. Now do the same thing, so right click somewhere in it, click on new, click on folder, create a new folder, name it whatever you want. And now move the splash.bmp inside of it. This also disables the movies playing at the start of the game and if you want to watch the movies again what you want to do is just open the new folder, copy splash.bmp and paste it inside of the splash folder and you can then delete the new folder that you've just created. Once you're done you can now close the splash folder. The second step is to download the Borderlands 3 FPS boost pack so just click on the link in the description, download it and extract it on your desktop and once you're done, just open it up. Once you open it, open the optimizations folder. Now open the BL3 priority folder and now double click on BL3 high priority .reg. This will set Borderlands 3 to be a high priority process. Click on yes, it says are you sure you want to continue, click on yes again and the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry, click on OK. Now once you're done, go back to the optimizations folder, 
And the next step is to open the registry optimizations folder. Once you open it, what you want to do is click on the first one, disable DVR1, click on yes, click on yes again, click on ok. Now do the same for all of them, so click on the second one, yes, are you sure you want to continue, yes, ok. What this does, it basically optimizes your registry editor and your registry files and you'll get more FPS in Borderlands 3. Once you're done with the game optimizations.reg, you can now choose the low to medium optimization or medium to high optimization. So if you have a low end PC, I would recommend going with the low end or low to medium optimization. Or if you just want to get more FPS, then you should go with the low to medium optimization.reg. I'm gonna go with the low optimization, so double click on it, click on yes. Are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again and click on OK. Once you're done here, go back to the optimizations folder and go back to the Borderlands 3 FPS boost pack. Now open the config folder and choose the settings that you want to apply. I would recommend going with the low end settings just to get more FPS in the game. So, so once you decide, open up the folder, I'm gonna open up the low end settings. And now what you want to do is open the Borderlands 3 game folder. You can do that by clicking on the search bar. Type this PC. Once you open it, click on Documents. Open up the My Games folder. Open up the Borderlands 3 folder. Saved. Config. Windows No Editor. And now what you want to do is just copy the files from the FPS Boost Pack and paste them in the Windows No Editor folder. Click on replace the files in the destination and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, you can close the Windows No Editor folder. The next step is to go back to the Borderlands 3 FPS Boost Pack and open the Ultimate Performance Notepad file. Now click on the search bar and type CMD, right click on Command Prompt and click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. Now copy the code from the Notepad file and paste it in CMD and click on enter. This will enable the ultimate performance power plan for Windows 10. Once you're done, close the command prompt, click on the search bar and type edit power plan and open it. Now go back to the power option settings and select the ultimate performance power plan. Once you're done, you can close the power option settings and you can close the notepad file. The next step is to open up the optimizations folder again, open the GPU settings folder and now open the folder for your graphics card. So I have an Nvidia graphics card so I'm gonna open up the Nvidia folder. And now what you want to do is right click on your desktop and open the Nvidia control panel. Once you open it up, click on manage 3D settings and make sure that the high performance Nvidia processor is set as your preferred graphics processor. Now open the first image and just copy the settings from the image to your NVIDIA control panel. Once you're done with the first image, just go ahead and open up the second one and copy the rest of the settings. Once you're done, you can close the second image, click on apply in the control panel and you can now close it. If you have an AMD graphics card, then just open the AMD folder and copy the settings as well. Once you're done here, we can move on to the next step, which is to go back to the optimizations folder and open the ISLC folder. Now double click on intelligence standby list cleaner.exe, click on yes, and now click on the arrow in the bottom right corner, find the ISLC logo, here it is, and double click on it. Now click on stop if it's already working. Check the Enable Custom Timer Resolution box and type 0.50 in the Wanted Timer Resolution. Then type 1024 MB in the List Size is at Least box, so in the first one. And type 8196 MB in the second box if you have 16GB of RAM or type 4096, so 4096 if you have 8GB of RAM. Once you're done, click on Purge Standby List. And now click on start.
you can then minimize the intelligent standby list cleaner. The next step is to go back to the optimizations folder and double click on quick CPU setup. Click on next, accept the terms, next, next, install, yes and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, just click on finish. Click on yes again and wait for it to load. Now click on where it says system power plan and make sure that the ultimate performance power plan is selected. Then make sure that the core parking index, frequency scaling index and turbo boost index are set at 100%. Once you're done, click on apply, it should say changes successfully applied and click on ok. You can now close the application. The next step is to double click on ccleanersetup.exe, click on yes, click on install and click on run ccleaner. Now click on registry, make sure that all of these are selected, click on scan for issues and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, click on fix selected issues, click on no, click on fix all selected issues and it should say that the issues have been fixed. Once you're done, click on close and now click on the easy clean tab and click on analyze. Once it's done, click on clean all and wait for it to finish. You can then close the CCleaner application. The next step is to double click on park control setup 64.exe, click on yes, click on ok, click on I agree, next, install and wait for it to finish. Now click on where it says CPU settings for power profile and select the bitsum highest performance. Make sure that all of these are set at 100% and once you're done click on apply. It should say that the new settings have been applied, click on ok and click on ok again. The next step is to click on registry editor tweak.reg Click on yes, it says are you sure you want to continue, click on yes again and the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry, click on ok. The next step is to right click on windows debloader and click on run with powershell and this should open up. Now click on remove all bloatware and wait for it to finish. This is just cleaning your PC from unnecessary files that are just taking up space. Once it's done it should say finished all tasks and you can then close the Windows 10 debloader. You can now close the Borderlands 3 FPS boost pack and now open up the game so we can optimize some in-game settings. Once you open up the game, go to the settings, go to options, visuals, display mode and set it to full screen. Then go to visual, advanced and turn on FPS in the performance stats settings. You can now change the graphics API, change it to DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 beta and see what works best for you. Then go to options, network and social and turn off the social notifications option. Set the group privacy to local if you are playing alone and then go to the options tab again, visuals and just reduce the field of view and set it to the minimum. Then go to the control settings and set all of the dead zones to the minimum. And the last step for this video is to just update the drivers. Go ahead and download the Nvidia Experience application if you have an Nvidia graphics card or the AMD Radeon application if you have an AMD graphics card. Once you update your drivers you should get more FPS. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.